everyone. Today I wanted to make an update video to explain where I've been <laughs> because this has got to have been the longest that I've gone without making a video. I think even when I had appendicitis earlier in the year I'm pretty sure I only missed maybe two uploads whereas I think it's been about a month and that's really unusual. I'm very committed to putting a video up every Saturday it's really rare that I miss it. I, I love making videos and I love interacting with you guys in the comments and seeing that the stuff that I make is helpful. Like I, I really enjoy doing this. So um, the only reason that I really miss an upload is if I don't have anything to say, I will sometimes not put a video up because I don't wanna just make content for the sake of it. And if I'm ill, then I won't. And if I'm away, then sometimes I won't. But I usually try to pre-plan it and have a video going up. So it is rare that I miss any time. And it has been a few weeks. And I did put um, a thing on the community tab thing on YouTube. But I really rarely see those. So I assume it's the same for you guys. I hardly ever see those posts. And I think I put it on Twitter and Facebook, but those are whole other platforms. So you might have seen me kind of say, sorry, I am okay, but there's stuff going on. Um, my links to my socials are below if you want to follow me there. Um, it's just been a lot. I've just been really, really busy and I will continue to be busy for another few weeks. So I thought I'd make a video to kind of explain where I've been and let you know that it's gonna be patchy for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Um, yeah, where to start? Um, the summer holidays. So things started out pretty well. We're really lucky that the grandparents, Stuart's parents and my mum are able to help us out with childcare. This is the first summer in a, a long time where Stuart has been, my husband, has been working in a um, like a nine to five type job. He was self-employed up until fairly recently. Um, so when he was self-employed, we would work around each other. So he could work a longer day one day so that he could, um, you know, give me some time to work another day. Or if he was doing something where the kids could interrupt him, then I could be doing something where I needed to concentrate, you know, we could sort of work things around each other as well as having the grandparents help out. Whereas this year, obviously he can't do that. So it is just grandparents and they have been amazing. We set it up so that my mum did a sleepover once a week and then his parents did a sleepover once a week. So pretty much depending on the drop off and pick up times that gave me two to three days a week a little bit variable because the kids have had things that they've been doing as well. So sometimes it didn't work out, but broadly it did. And that kind of is similar to my working week normally when they're at school because I work as a teacher two days a week and then I work on my business for two and a half days a week and I volunteer for half a day. So it kept up that time that I spend on writing. And for the first couple of weeks that that worked and I'm pretty sure I still put videos up. Um, but then <laughs> things just got a bit busy. Um, so one aspect was that I work, um, well, I say I work every year. I hope to continue to work every year. This is my second year working with a company called Screen South and they do local culture camps every year. So um, children from 10 to 16, or young people really, um, from 10 to 16 um, can come along and try out different creative things. So I run the writing, but there's art and animation and um, what else is there? Uh, music and all sorts of really cool stuff. So um, I was involved in doing that. I did three different events and they were two days each. And obviously there's prep that goes into that as well. Um, so I'm really grateful to have been able to do that in the summer, but when my childcare is being used for that, I obviously don't have time for all the other things that I have to do. Um, so as those approached in the last couple of weeks of um, the summer holidays, I was preparing for them and then trying to make sure that I had my admin cleared because that was going to be happening. On top of that, we also had our kitchen redone 
which at some point I will film a house tour, but <laughs> I'll explain. Um, so having the kitchen done for two weeks meant that we had a kitchen fitter in the house and um, the kitchen's like here. So it would have been a bit awkward when I'm like, hi guys, and he's there. Um, and I could go and drive somewhere and film in my car. I've done that before. Sometimes in the old days, when I first started, I used to film in the countryside, I used to sit outside. And the only reason I stopped, I don't think I've ever said this, um, I stopped doing that because uh, I live by the coast and often it would be quite windy. And when I went to edit the video, the sound would be not great. And then I would have to refilm it. And I spent a lot of time refilming things because of filming outside. So, um, and also like people walking past and things like that. So, um, I stopped doing it, but I used to love doing it. The, the picture and sound was so lovely with like the outside light and the, I really liked the actual finished videos, but I couldn't, the time that went into it was just too much. So, um, that could have been an option in the nice weather we've had for the summer um, and I could have filmed in my car but it does add a lot more time um, which I just didn't have because I was trying to prepare for these culture camps so um, the last couple of weeks of the summer holidays it just became really really difficult to do anything and I was really just working on all of the you know, the admin stuff that I have to do, um, accounts and emails and sending stuff and the things, you know. Uh, so I just got to the point where I thought I can't, I haven't got the time in the time that the grandparents are looking after the kids to film, edit, upload, because sometimes making a video like this can take a whole working day by the time I filmed something and made loads of mistakes and then edited that and made a thumbnail, sometimes it can take maybe four hours, but other times it is a whole day. And um, I just couldn't do it. So um, I'm really sorry, but uh, yeah, time. It just became uh, impossible to do. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll take a little break. That's fine. Then, <laughs> when the kids went back to school, obviously I've got that going back to school energy myself because I'm preparing to be in the classroom. Um, it, I've been very tired. Um, but on top of that, the uh, I've been catching up on all of the things after the culture camps, being very aware that the new book is coming and has now come. The art is right there, I can see it. Um, so I'm now going into creating the next book and really um, I need to get this next phase done as quickly as possible to allow plenty of time for any tweaks that need to be done because once I start ordering proofs there's a lag time I, if I I order the proof it takes a week to arrive then I make changes then you know and and that time can really go on so the quicker I can get to that point the the better for everybody because this I'm working with Natural England so they have to be happy with everything I have to get the use of their logo approved and there's, there's lots of little tiny things that I know will take time once I've actually put the book together. So um, really, I need to get my head down and just get it done. And again, spending that time making videos is... Uh, it's just managing my time. It's just really, really hard. And I'm sure you guys will get it. Like when I'm here two and a half days and I know I've got to get this project finished, I know the October holidays are going to be here before we know it. Um, I know that there'll be random things that come up that I need to deal with. I've got events and all sorts of stuff that just takes up my time. And so, although I hope to make videos over the coming weeks, depending on how much of the formatting of the book I've got through, if I'm not where I want to be, then I'm going to prioritise getting that finished. Um, so that then I can concentrate on making really great videos. I've got a list going of the videos I want to make so that then, you know, I can make some really great content for you instead of me being like stressed and rushing it and then it takes twice as long. Um, so because of that, as I say, I hope to make videos. I'm kind of thinking 
once a fortnight will probably work. But as I say, if I'm behind, I've just got to prioritise getting this book finished. So, um, so there's that. Um, as well, <laughs> to just add into the mix of all of that, we're having more building work done on our house and that's likely to start in about uh, a month. So who knows what will be going on with the book then, but if I'm knee deep in book stuff with builders in the house, I've also had like workmen coming over to give us quotes a lot. So that's another thing on my time. Um, so, yeah, it's just, there's just a lot. And now that the summer holidays are finished, you know, that's why I'm able to sit down and film today. Um, so hopefully that's something that can carry on because I've just got a bit more like structure and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just a lot. And as I say, the absolute priority right now is to get this book finished because if, it's going on and on and I can see that the time is ticking by and that we're getting closer and closer to the deadline. The the impact of that on my mental health is not is not worth it. <laughs> so I've been there before. Um, so as I say, my priority is just let's get all of the big projects sorted um, and then I can have a clear mind to be creative in this way because this does take creativity. This takes me having the ideas to make and feeling um, extroverted enough, because I'm pretty introverted, to have like the the energy to sit in front of a camera and, you know, not just be like, oh, everything's awful. Um, <laughs> it's not gonna be awful. You know what I mean. So um, that's that's what's been going on, just balancing kids, my other job, the house, the life admin, all of the things, um, you know, trying to have days out with the kids in the summer and yeah, and it's just the balance has just gone to hell. So that's where I've been. Um, I think up until the October holidays, the likelihood is that I'll be making a video about once a fortnight. If there are specific videos that you would love me to make, please do let me know in the comments. I'll add them to my list. I'm always happy to, you know, make videos that you're you're interested in or that would help you if there's an aspect of writing and self-publishing that you would like me to talk about. I'd love to. Or just anything you want me to do, a Q&A or a day in the life or whatever. Let me know and um, I will try to do that. So it's just a heads up really, things are going to be a little bit hatchy until I finished formatting the next book. And then, then I'm here, then I'm on it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've just got to like do what I've got to do. So yeah, apologies, I'm still here. Um, there's a bazillion videos of useful stuff um, for you to enjoy in the meantime um, and I'll be back. Um, yeah, let me know, like, do you find it hard, the balance? Um, I usually keep it, I'm pretty good, but um, I just feel like lately it's spiralled and I think partially it's because of the work on the house. I think that's like, adds a whole nother level because we've had stuff everywhere and trying to like get around the stuff and find things and it's just like a whole nother layer on top of the usual balancing act, but um yeah, let me know. Is it something that you struggle with? And <laughs> would you like any tips? I don't think I've got any. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are all all right. I hope you've had a lovely summer. The weather's awful today, but up till now it's been glorious. No, it hasn't. That's a lie. The last couple of weeks have been glorious. Up until then, it rained. But um, yeah, um, it was a lovely summer and, and that's important too. I am rambling now, so um, apologies for the lack of videos in the past and forthcoming, and um, there we are. I hope you're all all right, and I will be back soon for another video. Take care.